What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a perfect part line or seam, V seam, some people call them a chevron, there's a couple names, but basically how to take two pieces of carbon fiber and get the line down the middle nice and straight and even. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I'm just going to cut a few scraps. Now this is good material and just for demonstration purposes, we're just going to make it small. I don't want to use up too much material. Eight and twelve. So let's say <clears throat> now the video, <clears throat> the video just before this one, um, I'll link to it down below or put a tag up here of an E46 BMW hood. So in that video, you'll see me do the hood in two separate pieces. So that's kind of how this video is coming about. Enough people asked how I do it. You know, they do make 60 inch wide carbon fiber. They do make carbon fiber already woven into a Chevron or a V. Um, there is carbon fiber, I believe it's called like Weblock, which kind of has, as you'll see me, how I do it, a very similar thing already applied but it's all of those situations are you know if if you have a shop where you're running through that much material great it's much more expensive per yard um, but it's worth it to some people I do such few hoods and being very race oriented you know a seam down the middle of the hood is not a big deal you can also use this technique on certain parts that have such complex curves that you need to lay the part up in a few pieces as well. I also got to mention that prepreg does not have this issue because prepreg is just a whole different animal. But using dry fabric, most people, you know, this technique will work for you pretty good. Okay, so we have our four parts. And funny enough, the <laughs> this actually still has a little bit on it. We'll cut that off. Make them all even. All right. So as you can tell, we're already getting some like, anytime you work with a dry fiber, you're gonna get little strays off the end. Normally when you lay up a part, the overrun off the edge of the mold, or, or you know, edge of the part onto the flange of the mold, that's not a problem. But if you need to butt two pieces up together, you know, you don't want a frayed edge like this. So that's where this stuff comes in. This is called a fiberglass veil. You can see how thin it is. You can almost see right through it. They do make a carbon fiber veil. Um, either or would work. But what you want to do is just cut a few pieces the size you need. We're going to do one where the weave goes the same on both. And one where we're going to flip it and have a, a chevron or a V. Alright, so let's pick our two pieces. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm gonna do this down here because I don't want spray tech on my table. All right, so there's one. be our other whoops our other one all right so now we want to flip them oops. all right so you can do it two ways One, if the weave is perfectly straight, pick a thread. There you go, cut. And as you can see, we have like a nice crisp edge where, you know, no pieces are coming off like they are on, you know, the untreated side. 
And what's nice about this is you can see you still get good movement of the fabric if you're lining up something with a complex shape and you need the rest of the weave to kind of take some contours and stuff. Um, and then this one, you can go a little old school and just cut it perfectly between two threads. Whoops, my scissors are a little bit not great. I'm gonna redo that with different scissors. There we go, let's try these ones. Don't know if you can see that. The scissors I tried using weren't the greatest and it bunched up right there. So let's redo it. There you go. It's the same result, just takes a little longer. All right, so we have our pieces with the prepped edge, and then we have what would be the parts representing what would be the other half. So we're gonna come over to our mold. We're just gonna use a mirror. So this is the mold, you know, like I said, we're just using a mirror, but if you watch the video I tagged of doing the hood, you know, same concept. The piece with the veil goes down first. And then the piece with nothing on it goes on second. I am going to use a little bit of spray tech because if you're doing a large thing, you might be using it. It'll just help the pieces stick. And this one, I'll show you a top down view, but you want to do it straight as you can. That's it, just overlap, whatever, half inch, inch, whatever you want. And then this one will get a V weave because you can see how this piece looks like it's going up this way. This piece looks like it's going up that way. On this one, we will do them the same direction. So piece with the veil goes into the mold with the veil up not on the visual surface. And then this one, you always wanna make sure it would go that way. Sometimes it just gets a little bit tricky keeping track of thread direction. All right, there we go. So on this one, when we demold it, it looks like the threads are all gone the same way. So chevron or V-weave, all going the same way, part line. All right, so at this point, we have the most critical steps done. So I'm gonna time lapse through the rest of it. At this point, it's just a regular infusion. You'll see me, I'm just gonna put like a little patch on the back just to you know, hold everything together, give it a little more strength. Um, if you want more information on infusions specifically, I'll put a tag up here and a link below to a video I did not too long ago, just going over the specifics of doing an infusion. So yeah, we'll time lapse through it, get it infused, and then you'll see the end result.
right, so here's our two finished samples, our Chevron or V-Weave. Looks pretty good. And then our, you can obviously tell where the weave, or I'm sorry, the part line is. That's just like a smudge or something on it, so don't worry about that. But pull away just a tiny bit, you know, looks pretty good. Another way you could do it, the first layer I put down that had the veil on it, you could veil both sides and just do a butt joint where you just put the two sides together, but just overlapping it, you know, usually gets it close enough. And again, the other time something like this is used, if something that has a lot of contour or just a perfectly sharp edge, a lot of times, you know, it makes sense to put a seam like this right on the edge of, you know, a really sharp corner or something like that. So that's another spot where a technique like this is good, even though the example here is just, you know, little flat patches. All right, guys, so there you have it. The way I generally do my part lines in, you know, the visual layer of carbon fiber. Like I mentioned earlier, um, stuff called Weblock uh, is nice, uh, a little bit expensive, especially to use for an entire full sheet if you only need like one seam or something like that. Um, I, I have heard of people using other techniques, just like spray tack might be enough to kind of hold the fibers together, but then you're working with like sticky, um, you know, sticky carbon, which could then just fray. Oh, what's the other one? Or like our, you know, V weave, you can just buy carbon woven into a V perfectly down the center as well. So yeah, like anything in composites, there's a couple ways to do it. Hope you learned something from this one. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.